So today I'm going to show you an asset from the Clip Studio Store that I just found through this tweet. It's called the Finger Brush. I'll be featuring my little workspace and toolkit here that I use to prepare my canvas and stuff. So here's the subtool uh, menu. You'll see that I have perspective tools, erase along edge tools, and the Finger Brush already renamed from the Japanese originals. I'm also linking how to rename them and the guide that I saw from Twitter um, in the comment section below. To start off, uh, start with your sketch layer, sketch out the general form of the hand that you need for your drawing, and then create a vector layer. Now this is really important because you won't be able to readjust the joints if you don't do this on a vector layer. You also have to draw the fingers from the foreground to the background or the front to the back. Also you have to adjust the finger brush size to the size that you need. And you'll see that when you try to edit the fingers with the points that there are too many. So for here, I need you to use the simplify tool. For you to be able to decrease the number of vertices or points so that you can adjust it properly. And then here you can actually just adjust it knuckle by knuckle and still retain the shape. So from here to use it, all you have to do is change the color expression and layer properties to monochrome. As you can see here. And from here on you have different options. So you can either change the layer opacity, you have to rasterize it, or um, you can also draw over it. For me, I try to just like use it as a guide and actually just use it as a reference instead of tracing over it, but you can do what you want. From here, if you're actually happy with how it's turned out, just go to edit, uh, change um, brightness to opacity, and it's super easy. So yeah, if this was useful for you in any way, I'm going to start posting tips and tricks and tutorials that I find for CSP regularly, or at least I'll try, uh, at least once a week. So like, subscribe, and share. And next week, I'm going to show you how to use the Erase Along Edges brush.